Memphis has a long, really interesting story and history um, within the Boys and Girls Club movement. So we're part of a national network of clubs across the country. Um, and we've been in, in Memphis or open in Memphis for about 60, 65 years now. So a long, rich history and a lot of um, successful people have come out of this organization and gone on and done some pretty incredible things. And a lot of our kids have, have done that as well. So a, a really, really interesting organization and I'm proud to be part of it. Um, I think probably both my staff and my team that works for me and then also the kids and seeing them thrive. So, you know, I think that one advantage that we have is we get to we, we get them in the clubs as young as five years old. So we get to watch them grow up and kind of help them throughout their you know elementary school career and on into middle school. And many of them stay with us into high school. And then one of the unique things about Memphis, we were the the first city in the country to, to offer a workforce development program, um, which has now become one of the most important programs that Boys and Girls Clubs of America offers nationwide. But we were the first and we're still one of the largest. So a lot of our kids that stay with us into high school, they transitioned over to what we call our technical training center. And so they all, all of our kids get to go through what we call essential skills, um, interview techniques, how to dress for a job, um, how to fill out a resume, and then they go through hard skills training. So we offer welding, automotive, culinary, logistics, um, and IT. Uh, and they, they participate in all those programs, get certifications, and then we have staff there to help them research and find a job. And we track them once they're employed, make sure they've got what they need. Um, just to give you an example, we just had uh, 12 kids placed with FedEx last week. Um, and we're, we work with several local companies to do that. So it's a really unique program, but I get to watch them from five years old to, to 20, 21 years old and, and watch them depart off into the world. A couple of things. One is it's one of the most generous um, cities I've ever been in. I mean, it's for the philanthropic community, the, the foundations, the corporations, individuals. Uh, they also understand that Memphis has got its struggles and its issues, and I think that's why um, they're willing to step up and help so much. And so you see that it's, it's kind of a giving philosophy and a kindness philosophy that you don't often find in other cities. Um, also, it's a, you know very one of the most culturally diverse places I've ever been. I live on Mud Island, which is just about 10 minutes from here, and you've got people literally from all over the world, and many of them work in the, the medical community um, at St. Jude and some of the other hospitals. So I think that's that appeals to me, which leads right into the music and the food and the culture, and um, all of those things combined make it a really exciting place to live. There's no hiding the fact that Memphis has a has some pretty significant problems, poverty being one of them, um, and violence being another. And so I'm, I'm really hoping that we're able to get that under control and help. That's why I mentioned the Workforce Development Program. Help. I, I really feel that way to end the violence is to have good jobs for high paying, family sustaining careers for our kids. And that's, um, I guess I'm kind of announcing this right now but we just are uh are signing an agreement with the city and the mayor and the shelby county schools to partner and open 10 10 clubs within high schools and we've done that with one school which is which is a um craigmont high school and we we run a workforce development type program there uh and that proposal is pending right now so if it's successful we'll be in a lot of schools and we'll be able to bring this type of of training to them. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to see where that goes.